the U.S. economy is actually becoming increasingly reliant on AI and the companies that are building and empowering it. So we're starting to see, obviously, the impact on jobs. And then GDP seems to be of being affected by this build out of the data centers. Mm. So the spending on CapEx for energy and data centers by these big labs, if you think about Microsoft, Google, OpenAI, Meta, XAI, and we could throw Amazon in there. They're going to spend probably close to a half a trillion in 2026 and certainly trillions thereafter. OpenAI on their own plans to spend well over a trillion just in the next like six to seven years. So we're looking at trillions of dollars. Now, why are they doing this? Because as we've talked about, the market opportunity is trillions of dollars. So the companies that build out these data centers that control the cloud infrastructure, that serve up the intelligence that everyone is going to be demanding in every piece of software they use and every hardware device they use, what I've called the age of omni intelligence, where literally the AI is just omnipresent in everything we use and their omni models, meaning they don't just do text, which doesn't require a massive amount of compute. They do agentic, they do reasoning, they do image and video generation. Eventually they'll generate world models and video games. And so the compute demand is going to become so massive. The other thing tied to the economy is a lot of what we're seeing is these AI labs talking about the fact that the build out of energy and data centers is what's going to create jobs. Mm. So while jobs may be flat in other areas, they're saying, hey, we're going to hire 30,000 people over the next five years to build out all these data centers. And so truly the economy starts to become dependent upon this being true. <laughs> So if what OpenAI is presenting as this future, and again, not just OpenAI, these other major labs, they are all in on this build out and they need the energy, they need the data centers because they expect the demand for intelligence to keep skyrocketing. From a government perspective, they are very much on the record as saying they plan on quote unquote winning this race against China at all costs. So the government needs these private companies to have these bold visions, to take on enormous risks in order to get to super intelligence first or AGI or whatever they want to call it.